um, you know, obviously just a really outstanding win uh, for us today. I mean, that's a very, very well-coached team, a very, very good team. We've known that for, for a lot of years, and I, and I think our players are really amped up and ready for it. And I think it goes back to, to how we've practiced here, uh, even probably right after that American game. You know, I think we learned some valuable lessons in the pit game, learned some valuable lessons in the American game, and I think you're seeing the results from that. You know, I think our players have really taken it upon themselves, taken a lot of pride in how hard they've worked both in practice but, but time outside of practice. Um, and then I thought they was really locked in with the scout today. You know, Mike, as usual, Coach Lane did a tremendous job with the scout and I think it was cool to see that our players, like we have over the years, really take a lot of pride in, in buying into that and, uh, and executing. So outstanding win for us. Loved the effort. And, and that was just a really, really fun team to watch. If that's the team that we have, I'm, I'm going to be really excited to continue to coach this team. I mean, uh, you know, outside of great coaching during those stretches, I don't know. You know, I, I think, to be honest with you, it was our, our bench took a lot of pride. To, I, I felt the energy really to start the game. I don't know how long it was two to two. Uh, it seemed like it was two to two there for a really, really long time, and and maybe went to our bench to, to kind of get some energy. I thought Ellie Mack was was great <clears throat> tonight, both uh, immediately, um, but I, I thought Cap kind of really started and ignited that stretch. So those guys were good, and, and even AJ's minutes to kind of spell Kai there early. I thought she came in and at least got her feet wet and took a couple deep breaths. Um, and, and Mickelson too. You know, I think. Maybe she had four of those points during that stretch. So I thought our, our bench has been really uh, a lot better in practice. I mean, I think you saw the results from that here tonight. It's really exciting to see them step in and uh, help to contribute in the game. And it's also sort of relieving knowing that if we're not on our A game that game, that we also have backup to, for a mix to come in and have put up like four points, uh, get an offensive rebound and, and one. Um, it was really relieving just knowing that we have backup there. Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah, 100%. It, we move, I think we moved the ball really well and got open shots. And then us getting in the gym with coaches and on our own just shows out there because the shots we're following were in the earlier games they haven't this season. So, yeah, I think moving the ball well has definitely paid off. Uh, I thought you had a, you know, yeah. it really worked for you defensively, too, because you held, you know, the double-double. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think some of the matchups maybe had us a little bit concerned. Um, I think even going back and watching some of the games from last year against them, that you know there there's some key players that that we didn't have tonight that we had last year. But I think the more I watched, the more I was actually excited about some of the length that we had. You know, we 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 were we had some ball handlers last year, um, but I I really kind of liked our length both defensively affecting shots at the basket, and I'd like to think that was part of us. You know, holding under twenty two percent shooting. But I thought even against the press. Now, they maybe didn't amp up the press as much as maybe they have in some other years, but I thought we handled it really well against BU. That gets on tape. I thought the couple times that we – even early, I think, you know, Romaine missed Mac for probably what would have been a layup. Um, but we, we showed some composure uh, against that press, and I thought we were very well prepared for it. And I thought when it counted, you know, we, we made some, some key breaks on that. Uh, and, and I think it was almost a little bit different than some of the games that we have. I felt like we've really started – games pretty well here and, and I thought maybe some jitters and maybe it's kind of being amped up a little bit too much but we didn't we mentioned the bench coming in and being able to do that I, I thought we kind of lost a little bit uh to starting starting the third quarter and you're right like that thing got down to three and they had a couple opportunities that I thought even could have gave it could have put together a run where they missed some layups there um, but yeah really proud of just kind of how we bounced back and I think Slegas is three um you know had you know, the, the bank was open, so to speak, so that was a big one, too. I think that it was a little bit deeper into the game. Um, but I thought Rachel's three to start the second half was big. You know, we, I thought we ran pretty good offense there. She got a three out of it, and that allowed us to have a little bit of a buffer for when we kind of struggled during that stretch right after it. it yeah, yep, and, and, and I thought our kids were great because they recognized it. You know, it was almost like I, they hadn't run zone uh, the, the entire first half and, and, and kind of tweaked that. We had a, a play set up that wasn't to go against the zone, but we kind of – our kids recognized it. We, we said, hey, we're still going to run the same thing. And, and I thought our composure there, I don't remember who passed it to Rachel, but I, th I knew that pass was, I knew that shot was going in when. Uh, it, was, it was English. It was in English down that, off the drive there. You're right. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. No, that was, that was one she was able to step into. And I thought that was a big difference, too. I think during our stretch in the second quarter, when we weren't scoring buckets, we maybe made some low percentage shots there and for whatever reason kind of continued to take some of those. And I thought the times that we got great ball movement, been consistent all year, when we've got great ball movement and we're moving the basketball, we're shooting high percentage shots and we're going to make enough of those. Oh, yeah. It feels good to be back at home, definitely. We practice here all the time. So going on the road takes a lot out of you both mentally and physically. So getting to have a game back at home in front of the crowd, it's exciting and glad we were able to pull through.